Good afternoon. I would like to thank the organizers of this conference on ALS for inviting me to present our preclinical study entitled The Efficacy and Mechanism of the Deanna Protocol as a Metabolic Therapy for ALS. This study is currently ongoing. The hallmarks of ALS are characterized by mitochondrial dysfunction, oxidative stress, glutamate excitotoxicity, and ultimately the death of motor neurons. Death of motor neurons from ALS can be viewed as a downstream consequence of impaired energy metabolism. Previous work in the lab of Dr. Giulio Passanetti has shown that the ketogenic diet or caprylic triglyceride, a medium chain triglyceride derived from coconut oil, alleviates ALS type motor impairment through the restoration of energy metabolism in ALS mice, especially during the overt stage of the disease. These metabolic therapies, including the ketogenic diet and caprylic triglyceride, work by elevating blood levels of ketone bodies, which provide an alternative energy source to neurons. These preclinical data indicate the feasibility of targeting energy metabolism as a metabolic therapy for ALS patients. We know that ketone bodies can function as an alternative fuel for neurons. Under normal conditions, almost all the energy demands in neurons are met by glucose metabolism. Neurodegenerative di disorders are associated with impaired glucose transport and impaired glucose metabolism. Ketone bodies and Krebs cycle intermediates like alpha-ketoglutarate bypass several of the rate-limiting steps that are associated with impaired glucose metabolism. These alternative fuels generate the reduced intermediates in the tricarboxylic acid cycle, known as the Krebs cycle, that are necessary for mitochondrial ATP production. Ketosis can be used to treat a variety of neurological disorders linked pa pathophysiologically to metabolic dysregulation and glutamate excitotoxicity. These disorders include, but are not limited to, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, traumatic brain injury, epilepsy, and CNS oxygen toxicity seizures. Our hypothesis for this study is that the Deanna protocol, a metabolic therapy developed for ALS, will delay the path pathology in a mouse model of ALS. The specific aim is to determine if the active ingredients of the Deanna protocol slows disease progression and extends survival in ALS mice. The mouse model we're using is a transgenic SOD1 G93A mouse. These mice are currently available in Jackson Labs and they exhibit all the histopathological hallmarks observed clinically in sporadic and familial ALS. There are four groups in the study, and this is included a control group that are fed the standard diet, a standard diet group with a Deanna protocol supplement, a ketogenic diet group, and a ketogenic diet group that included the Deanna protocol supplement. The standard diet rat chow was low in fat, high in carbohydrate, and moderate in protein. A ketogenic diet is very high in fat, about 80 to 90 percent of the calories, low in carbohydrate, less than 5 percent of the calories, and moderate in protein. The active ingredients of the Deanna protocol that we tested were arginine alpha-ketoglutarate in a one-to-one -one ratio, gamma amino butyric acid known as GABA, ubiquinol or soluble coenzyme Q10, and medium chain triglyceride oil that was comprised of approximately uh, at least 70% uh, caprylic triglyceride. The methods we use to assess the efficacy of this therapy include survival, uh, which was determined by a defined criteria, motor neuron function tests, including rotor rod, grip test, and hang wire test, assessment of a neurological score, change in body weight from baseline, blood levels of glucose, ketones, and other metabolites, 
biochemical assays to assess oxidative stress and cell death, histological analysis of the central nervous system, including the brain, spinal cord, internal organs, and skeletal muscle. Our motor function testing with the rotor rod performance indicate that there wasn't a significant uh, change or increase in motor function between the groups. Also, although we did see a trend for improved motor function uh, at, at certain time points with the ketogenic diet, which would support the work, which was consistent with the work done in Dr. Passanetti's lab. We did see uh, a decrease in the neurological score, which would be an improvement in neurological function in the group that was fed the standard diet plus the Deanna protocol. So this, we can only consider this a trend because the study is ongoing. We also saw a trend uh, in the survival so animals that were fed the standard diet plus the Deanna protocol at this point in time during the experiment show uh, an increase in survival time. So this is preliminary data and the study is ongoing. At this point our summary is that the Deanna protocol, a metabolic therapy for ALS, is well tolerated in ALS mice. The trends in the preliminary data at this point with the Deanna protocol are encouraging and require further investigation. These experiments are still in progress and are ongoing. In future directions, we plan to fine-tune the dosage and the ratios of the active components of the Deanna protocol to optimize the therapeutic efficacy of each of the components. We also intend to test new metabolic agents to preserve mitochondrial function and prevent motor neuron death. I would like to thank the organizers of this event once again to allow us to pre present this preliminary preclinical study on the Deanna protocol in an ALS mouse model. I'd also like to thank all the members of our lab, uh, including our sponsors, and I'd especially like to thank Winning the Fight Foundation for funding this research at the University of South Florida. Thank you for your attention.